we are going to begin by pointing to the first element within our list. So we're going to say start index equals zero. And let's, let's add a comment for that just to make this more readable. Point to first element. Okay, now we're going to point to the last element of our list. So again, another comment. I don't know why I keep doing that. <laughs> okay, point to last element. So we're just gonna say end index. And that's going to equal the length of our list minus one minus one okay so the reason why we want to do that is because as you can see um, we have a list and when we are doing list slicing the uh, last element is explicit and that's also when we are dealing with the length function so meaning so the length function itself is going to return eight as an integer value and because it returns eight um, when we're using list indexing uh, if we return eight what's going to happen is it's going to tell us that this number is actually out of the uh, out of the index and it, it'll raise an index error so we're going to do seven because when we count the elements in our list we actually owe zero one two three four five six seven because in in python indexes start at zero and in r indexes start with one so python's a little different okay so now we are going to say swap elements so we are going to use a while loop and we're going to say while the end element which is going to be we'll say seven seven okay so basically while seven is greater than zero now this is actually going to change as we progress through our algorithm and you'll see that so while those things equal that what we're going to do is we are going to say list and we call our list L, all right yeah so we're going to say list oh I think I lost my spot okay so we're going to say list start index comma list end index equals and this is where the swap is going to come list end index list start index so as you can see what's happening is just with this one line of code uh, here this list start index list end index equals list end index list start index with this one line of code what we're doing is saying what is in the zero place we want to switch which is with what is in the seventh place so the one is in the zeroth place and eight is in the seventh seventh place and uh so eight's going to go to the front and one's going to go to the back. So there's still one more problem, which is, okay, we, we were able to switch the first and the last element, but how do we switch these elements in between? And I'm going to take care of that now.
So what we want to do is we want to say start index equals start index plus one. So what that's going to do is because remember we started with this zero with the start index equaling zero. So we're going to say zero plus one, which is going to take us from here to here. But remember, first we switch the first element in the last element. So when we switch the first element in the last element, we're going to get eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. And by adding a one before the next uh, loop in our while loop, that's going to take us to two. And conversely, we are, we are going to do the same thing with the end index. But instead of adding one, we're going to subtract one. So end index equals end index minus one. So for each loop, the first and the second element are being switched. And then from the left, you're moving to the right one element. And from the right, we're moving to the left one element and then switching those all the way into the middle where, where we would reach four and five. And remember, we set that condition that uh, which is while this condition is true, the end index is greater than the start index, which our initial in our initial state of our list, our end index is greater than our start index. But by the end, when that four and that five switch, that five is going to be greater, which is going to be our start. And the end is going to be lesser, which is going to be four. And this while loop condition is no longer going to be true. And that's what's going to break our while loop. So next, all we have to do is actually call our function. So to do that, we are going to do this. We're going to make sure that we are in our module. So uh, we're going to say if done, we're going to say <laughs> we are going to say if well, dunder dunder. Wow, I'm having a hard time today. So if dunder dunder, there we go. Name. Dunder dunder is equal to dunder dunder main dunder dunder. All right, make sure that's a colon. Uh, then we want to call our function. Did we? No. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I made a mistake. This is all supposed to be wrapped in a function. I thought that I did that, but apparently I did not. So let's define it. Here we go. So we're going to say DEF and we're going to name this, let's say reverse. And we are going to pass in a list object, which is right here. Let's add some space. Okay, so if name is equal to main, which means if we are in the correct module, when we are calling our function, we should get, let's say reverse, and we're gonna pass in our list. And then we are going to say print list. Okay, so now, all that we have to do is run our code. And there we go. It worked. As you can see, 87654321. We first started with 12345678, and now we have a reversed list. And that's it.